a place of peace, honor, remembrance. Dating back to 1867, throughout the rolling hills of the Dayton National Cemetery, there are servicemen from every U.S. war. Resting in this hallowed ground are over 650 African Americans who served in the U.S. Colored Troops, making it one of the nation's largest burial sites of black Civil War soldiers. Nestled among the trees are five recipients of the Medal of Honor, our nation's highest military decoration. Surprisingly, with 54,000 of our nation's finest resting here, many did not receive full military honors. The Honor Squad was formed on Memorial Day in 2015. Prior to the Honor Squad being formed, there was about 1,200 services a year and only about 120 got full military honors, which would be DOD, the Rifle Salute, and TAPS. That was unacceptable, especially in a national cemetery that's a national shrine. The purpose of the squad is to pay final respects and proper respects to the veteran for his service. It doesn't matter whether he was in combat or not. It doesn't matter if you were a cook or if you were a supply or you were a paper pusher. You're a veteran and you earned that right to be here and to have that honor. Once you're a soldier, you're always a soldier. The Honor Squad is all volunteer. We have men, we have women, we have every branch of service. We have civilians. It's important to me because I want to show my respect and honor those who have put on the uniform. We're like a band of brothers, and I really believe that to be true. My experiences in Vietnam showed how important it was when I was wounded. A lot of work was gone to save me. I also was responsible for saving others before. And it's just important that we honor and respect the people who put on the uniform. Unfortunately, we're not getting any younger. I think our senior member is 78. And uh, they still come out here. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Snow, rain, heat, we're here. I do that to honor my relatives. Nine guys I went to high school with were killed in Vietnam. I do it to honor my son. He did two tours in Iraq, and he did two tours in Afghanistan. And it was in Kandahar, Afghanistan, March 16th, 2013 when he was killed. I uh, am a firm believer that our brothers and sisters who served honorably deserve the proper um, military honors at their time of burial. And when Jim explained how many kids, men, women, who did serve honorably, active duty, are buried without the opportunity for the honors. That was a no-brainer. It was, yeah, count me in, I'm gonna do it. Why aren't there more people out here volunteering? 